guys, it's Courtney. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here today to do my November empties, even though I know it's like late in December when you're going to be able to see this, but I'm sorry. So let's just jump in. Let's talk about the stuff I'm decluttering or getting rid of. And as you guys know, um, Zach moved in recently. And so I had to go through a lot of stuff and clear out a bunch of stuff. I do have a, declo a closet declutter coming as well. Um, but this is just stuff. So, um, like I have like a laptop case for a laptop and screen protectors that he doesn't even have anymore. I don't know why I have those. This is a broken necklace that I've had sealed in an envelope for a while because I was like, oh no, like I could fix it. No girl, you can't. Um, and it's a... It's a pearl necklace, like there's like a cage and then there's a little pearl and it's like I just have to get a new casing for it. Like the pearl is real and like fine, but it needs to be fixed, obviously. Um, this is Vite, it's body and leg like cream gel hair remover. This is just really, really old. Um, I got it like two years ago before vacation, so two years ago summer, and um, ew, so that's gone. Anything else? Anything else? My Sephora play bag, obviously. Um, my little hamburger guy, I'm actually going to pass this on to one of Zach's nieces because I think they would think it was hilarious. And is that everything? And all the other declutter stuff are like makeup related kind of. Um, this is from doTERRA. This is the Peace Reassuring Blend. Um, it's an essential, it's an essential oil blend. And it's just, it makes me sneeze. So I'm going to pass that on. Um, this is the Elf Pal Perfector in Glow. And it's just really, really old. Um, so it needs to be tossed. Um, uh, this is the sponge weird sponge applicator that comes with the physician's formula bronzer like butter bronzer this is just gonna get thrown in the trash because like excuse you who are you um my color icon wet and wild lip liner in brandy wine i know you guys have seen this in my peeping pan update so i'm not going to talk too much about that this is a physician's formula sexy booster cat eye collection liquid eyeliner and i had never used this but i opened it because i was going to put it into a 2019 project pan and I just don't like the way, like it looks fine, like and on camera, but in person, it's like really thin and streaky and it dries down more gray than black. Um, this is an Essie polish, which I'm actually going to see if Zach's, one of Zach's sisters want, because I know they like Essie polishes. This is in Butler Please. This is supposed to be a dupe for Sally Hansen. Um, mm -hmm, yeah, the one that they changed the formula and color on and everyone freaked the F out. Um, Pacific Blue, but I have another one. I have a Julie G polish and a KL polish that are really similar to that one, so I don't need this one. I'm going to pass it on. Then I have two um, Wet n Wild liquid cat suits. Um, this was before they were actually called liquid cat suits. So this is the Metallic Liquid Lipstick in Peony Express. This is the pink one. I just literally never reach for it, so it's probably going to get tossed because honestly, oof. Yeah, it smells gross. And then this is the um, liquid lipstick in Don't Be a Plum Plum. And if you guys watched my Supernatural project pan, um, I was panning the other one, panning the other one like this, and I just don't like these ones when they're really dark like this. They don't stay and they bleed and the formula is like so chunky and thick. I don't know. So that's everything I'm decluttering. It was a lot. But then we can talk about the stuff that's empty. So contacts. I uh, switched to daily use contacts. Everyone's excited, I can tell. Um, what else is in here that no one cares about? Toothpaste, no one cares. But I did buy the wrong toothpaste. And like, look at how yellow my teeth look compared to like, like I feel like it's literally because I haven't been using this like 3D white toothpaste. What? And I've been drinking more coffee. That's probably part of it too. 
Um, I do have, I switched razor blades. So this is the Venus Gillette Swirl. Um, they're so expensive, but they're so nice. I have a couple of hair products in here. First of all, I keep breaking my hair ties. So I put one in there to talk about it because I'm annoyed as heck. This is a mini of the Herbal Essences Hello Moisture Conditioner. Um, it's fine. I needed something for vacation and these are like $2 at the store. So I got one. Oh no, I found one more declutter. This is the e.l.f. Prep and Hydrate Balm. It's literally just like a cooling stick, but it doesn't work for me as a moisturizer. doesn't really work for me as like a post-sun situation. doesn't really work as a primer. just doesn't really work. It's very sticky. Um, like it's just, it's not for me. Okay, and then I finished up the shampoo from OGX. This is the Bamboo Radiant Brunette Shampoo. Um, this one, it was fine. I feel like it did do what it was supposed to do. Like, it's supposed to infuse your brunette strands with the moisture-rich blend of bamboo extract and almond oil. It helps illuminate rich caramel and mahogany tones while revealing a multi-faceted brilliant glow. And I feel like it did do that. Obviously, like, before I dyed my hair red, um, I could see it in the sunlight, um, like, when I was driving in my car and stuff. And, like, I always have had a blonde patch. Uh, I can't really find it right now. It's somewhere in here, though. It's, like, a lighter patch. And this just, like, made my whole hair kind of look like it, and it was cool. I dug it. The last thing was in my Supernatural Project Pan also, so I won't talk about it too much, but this is a Living Proof No Frizz Nourishing Silent Cream. It was fine. It was from Living Proof. It had that smell. I wasn't a huge fan of it, but it, it's out of my collection now, so I'm happy. Alright, on to my one body care thing. This is the Be Enchanted Body Wash from Bath & Body Works. This was at my parents' house. I finished it. Yes, I brought my trash from their house to my house. And I actually took a different body wash to leave at their house um, to finish up because I have, like, a set of everything there. A toothbrush, a body wash, a deodorant, etc. that I have here so I don't have to bring it back and forth so much because I go there a lot. And I hate packing. On to face stuff. This is the Yes to Cucumber Soothing Hypoallergenic Facial Wipes. And so this broke. Um, so there's obviously a clasp here, and this has to, cl like, click so hard to get it, um, to close, but so when I was opening it, I ended up ripping the glue here, so then the wipes dried out super fast, it was really annoying. I have one more of those, I'm hoping it doesn't happen a second time, but it probably will. This is the Clinique Take the Day Off, um, Cleansing Balm, it's one of the big daddies. Um, this gets pretty nasty at the end like it smells pretty nasty and it looks pretty nasty but this is honestly the best thing I've ever used I know it's not cruelty free before anyone says it like I know it's not but it's the best um right now I'm just using pure coconut oil and it's pretty similar but not you know like it's not quite the same the last skin item I have in here is my Biore deep cleansing pore shift these are like face and nose ones, and I used the last one last night. So. Those are fine. They're honestly just pore strips. There's nothing like exciting about them. I know that the Yes To brand is cruelty free and they do have pore strips, so I think I'm gonna get those next. But yeah. The very last makeup thing, or face thing I mean, Oh no, I found another declutter. Boo. This is a declutter. It's just a glittery single shadow from a palette I depotted. I'm getting rid of it. This is the last face thing I have. It's the Bosha Masha Magic Super Antioxidant Antioxidant Mask. It's green. As green as this package. It makes you look like Shrek. I feel like it doesn't really... I don't know. You leave it for 15 to 20 minutes. I personally feel like this burns my skin. Like, I can feel it on my skin. Burning. Like, not like tingling, like burning. Um, which I don't. 
thoroughly enjoy, in case you were wondering. I do not enjoy. Okay, and then everything else, let me put this basket down, is makeup. So I used one of the e.l.f. brush cleaning wipes. These are fine. They're super heavily scented. I think I say this every time. And I don't really enjoy that, so I don't think I repurchase them, honestly. Um, like, just use a makeup wipe. Or I just use a towel half the time because it is what it is. I finished off a ColourPop Super Shock Shadow. This is in Friendship File. And look at that. Ooh, child. Like, it's so beautiful. Um, I also finished off the Hourglass Translucent Setting Powder. This is the Veil Translucent Setting Powder. Sorry. And I took the Sephirol and everything, and that's what it looks like. I think I'm going to put my little Cover FX powder I'm panning in this, just because it's a bigger container and easier to get to than that tiny, tiny one. So I'm probably going to save this container. I finally finished my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer Mini as well. Um, it took so long. I do enjoy this like in the summertime this is the regular chocolate soleil um and i think i'd have to get the milk chocolate soleil in the winter but it's still really nice this is the elf brow pencil this is in i think just brown i don't know uh neutral brown Ooh. and uh that's what it looks like i have this in my brows today i bought another pencil because they're like super cheap super cheap this is a Sephora 24-hour contour crayon, etc., 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 in black. I got it in Sephora Play forever ago. It's gone. I can't sharpen it anymore. And then, most excitingly, I finished off my Tarte, what are you? Rainforests of the Sea, whatever the heck these are, lipstick in Soaked. And all you can, like, what you can see is just the plastic. There's no more. Um, I do think I'm going to dig this out, so I'm going to keep this. And, I mean, I'm keeping it for my yearly makeup empties anyway, but I'm going to keep it, um, like, in my vanity. And I think I'm going to dig it out and mix it with a lip balm. So, Editing Courtney is going to put on the screen the total of items I finished. Um, and then in the description box, if you guys are wondering, is a total throughout the year and how many things I've decluttered. Um, just because I personally like to keep track. And I will have an inventory coming the end of the year I believe slash the beginning of January just because I like to keep track of what I have in my collection um and see like where I can cut down stuff like that so thank you so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed I love you guys so so much if you want to hang out with me anywhere else on social media it is down below and um you can always hang out with me in any of those places I love you guys so much I'll talk to you all in the next video and subscribe all right thanks bye everyone